If you have watched us or any of the other 70,000 Disney World vloggers, you are probably aware that about a year ago now, a new bakery opened at Disney Springs in Orlando called Gideon's Bakehouse. This place, known for its delicious cookies and gothic theming, is so popular that on most days, visiting Gideon's at Disney Springs involves signing up for the virtual queue, then wandering around Disney Springs for two, three, sometimes four hours waiting to be called back to Gideon's, where you will then wait in a physical line for about 20 minutes before finally being allowed in to buy some of their cookies. What you may not know is that there's another location of Gideon's Bakehouse that does not have much of a line, about 20 miles from Disney Springs. We are going to show you that location, and stay tuned, we're going to show you a few other cool places that we stopped on a recent day off from the parks in Orlando. The original location of Gideon's Bakehouse is at East End Market on Corinne Drive in Orlando. East End Market is a food hall with a lot of cool places to visit, in addition to Gideon's, which includes Old Hearth Bread Company, which was sold out of bread by the time we showed up in the afternoon, Winter Park Biscuit Company, Hinkley's Fancy Meats, Freehand Goods, a store that collaborates with local artisans who provide small batches of high-quality handmade goods, Skybird Juice Bar, Farm and House, which apparently serves an award-winning avocado toast. Lineage Coffee Roasting, where we picked up a couple drinks. A house-made noodles restaurant named Domu. There's lots of outdoor seating. And there's more upstairs, including a place called The Neighbors, which is part cocktail lounge and part experimental kitchen. And Dochi, which serves a cross between a Japanese rice dessert and classic American fried donuts. But the main attraction for us was, of course, the original location of Gideon's Bakehouse. The location at East End Market serves mostly the same menu as the Disney Springs location, though there are a couple cookies each month only available at Disney Springs and one that is only available at East End Market. The cookies are slightly less expensive here at East End Market, only $5 each versus $6 each at the Disney Springs location. They both serve cake as well. The cold brew coffee drinks are only sold at Disney Springs. There's already a coffee vendor at East End Market, and the owners of Gideon's didn't want to compete against them for coffee dollars. There is some gothic theming at the East End Market location, but not as much as they just don't have as much space. There was only one customer in front of us when we arrived at Gideon's, though we're told they can sometimes have lines on the weekend, but nowhere near as long as the lines at Disney Springs. We waited on the customer in front of us just a minute or two, and then we were up. It did take us a few minutes to decide what to buy, though. We ended up getting a couple of our favorites. The original chocolate chip, which is infused with several different types of vanilla and created using several different kinds of chocolate chips. And a peanut butter vanilla crisp. The main ingredient in the dough is peanut butter, and it was topped with peanut butter chips. Both of these cookies were almost half a pound each, and once again, it took the two of us six days to finish off just these two cookies. There was less weight, less cost, and less theming at this location, but the same great cookies. If you don't feel the need to stay in the Disney bubble, we suggest checking out the area off property and stopping by the original Gideon's location. Some of our friends from church just moved to Orlando within the last few months, so they took us around to see the sights when we weren't busy at the parks. One place they took us is shopping in downtown Winter Park, Florida, where we found some lovely local businesses, including a bookstore that I got lost in. They took us to Lazy Moon Pizza, a pizza joint in Orlando that you can barely see from the road but I thought it was awesome. The pizza here was delicious. I got pepperoni and sausage. Our friend Maite got 
some kind of pizza with salad on it, but even that was better than what Alice ordered, which was the Mediterranean platter at a pizza joint. It tasted great. One of the coolest things we saw was at the campus of Rollins College in Winter Park. Their most famous alumni was television host, author, and Presbyterian minister, Mr. Rogers. And last fall, they unveiled a really cool statue of Mr. Rogers commemorating his life work. This was so well done. It features Mr. Rogers along with a group of kids and some of the characters from the neighborhood of Make Believe around the back of the statue. Jack watched Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood almost daily growing up. I didn't, but I have really gained great respect for him as an adult watching documentaries about his life. This was a really fun addition to this campus. Rollins College also has a free museum on site that we took a walk through. It was lovely and it featured local and student artists as well as some historic and important pieces, including a sarcophagus that is nearly 2,000 years old. It is definitely worth checking out. We love the Disney bubble, but we had a great day exploring the surrounding communities as well. And we highly recommend it if you have a little extra time on your Orlando trip. Please subscribe to our channel to know when future episodes are posted. And in the meantime, check out these links to see some other videos that we think you'll enjoy. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. And we'll see you the next time we're traveling through.